everyone, it's Tyler with Arthropod Antics, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm taking you guys out with me. We're gonna go anting together. It's gonna be a Arthropod Antics Arizona Anting Adventure. Okay, okay, the name could use a little work, but it's an anting vlog. Uh, so today I'm going to the Chiricahua Mountains in southeastern Arizona, which is uh, one of the best, if not the best, uh, place just for ants in the whole country all of the U.S. It has well over 200 species documented there. It's just, it's really awesome. I've only been there once before, so I'm really excited for this one. And that's why I'm taking you guys with me. So, hope you guys enjoy this. If so, I'll be doing more in the future. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get there. About an hour and a half out, but it should be a quick little minute for you guys. So, I'll see you there. Alrighty, everyone, I have arrived. Uh, I'm just setting up my tent really quickly because I will be staying the night here when it's a four and a half or so hour drive. It's not really feasible to do in a day trip. So I'm going to be finishing throwing my rain fly on. It's not supposed to rain tonight, but probably a good idea. So I'm gonna finish doing that. And then we're gonna do some collecting. Get the black light set up there. It's not, well, we have the black light. It's not set up yet, but, uh, so we'll be doing some black lighting tonight. I'll be showing you guys some of that. I did already catch an Odontomachus queen under a rock, Odontomachus claris, which is very, very cool. So I'm excited about that. Looks like the night is going to be great. It's nice and humid and warm. And it's just, just absolutely gorgeous here. I love it. So I'll be back with you guys when I get the black light set up. All right, guys, look at that. We got the black light set up just in time. It's just starting to get dark enough to where I think species are going to start flying soon. So I'm really excited to see what I'm going to find today. I mean, just look at this. Just gorgeous. You love to see it. So I'll come back with you guys once I start finding stuff. I already see a little beetle flying around. Check this out, guys. Our very first queen of the night. It's a Laceus Arizonicus queen. Uh, I don't know if she's mated. There are some males, some Laceus Arizonicus males flying around. So I'm hoping that either she mates at the light or she's already mated. And look, we got another one right here. So these guys are social parasites, which is really, really cool. I would love to catch myself some fertile queens of those tonight. So the night has definitely improved since last time we spoke. Uh, we've got some interesting things. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. Let me see. I cannot flip this around, but... If you can see there, we've got a Neva Mermax male, army ants. So that's pretty cool. I know that they are not particularly rare uh, at the Chiricahuas. I've never seen workers here, but did just see that male, so that's pretty cool. And then I also got, and I will switch the camera around. Check this out, guys. We've got a Chromatogaster Missouriensis Queen. These guys are super rare and just really awesome. She is winged, so I'm really hoping she ends up being fertile, but just super, super awesome catch. So, uh, unfortunately, the black lighting this morning was not super awesome, but, I mean, as you can see, I've dressed up a little bit, and that's, uh, because it got pretty cold last night, so, when I woke up before sunrise this morning, it was, uh, a little chilly and not super awesome for, for flights, um, but now I'm just doing some hiking here, so, uh, I'm gonna flip some rocks, see what I find, check this out. Actually, I just turned around and look at 
that. That's just awesome. Love stuff like that. So, gonna do some rock flipping and just show you guys what I find. Look at this. So I think that this area where I'm at must be like a hot spot for Adontamachus because there, oh, she just went into her hole. But that's the second one that I found just now. The first one was back a ways a little bit and she she dove into her hole right away before I could, uh, could get my camera out. But apparently this is a uh, Adontamachus territory. So that's really cool. Check this out. I just found a huge Campanotis colony. Look at all that brood and the queen is right there. She's uh, trying to run away from me, but isn't that really cool? I'm not going to collect her. This is a uh, far too large of a colony for me to consciously collect, but that's some cool stuff. And here, right next door, there was the Campanotis colony right under that rock. And then right here is just a huge Pogonomermex nest. They're not super active right now. I think it's just not warm enough for them just yet. It is starting to get pretty warm. Sun's out finally, but uh, they're not <laughs> they're not happy. They feel me breathing on them and they're uh, getting mad. But just check out the size of this nest. I mean, that's my foot. And this, this nest is just enormous, so that's really cool. So check this out. We just dug up a Neva Mermax colony. We actually found a queen. Now I'm not sure if this is the queen. Uh, I mean, I would be very surprised if she wasn't. It is their flight season, so she could could be in a late, but I don't see any males or anything. So I'm really hopeful that this is the real queen. All right, well, I'm finally heading out. Uh, I'm glad that my my extension this morning was, was good. Black lighting this morning kind of sucked. I think I mentioned that just because it was so cold, so didn't really catch much of anything at the black light. But after that was a great success. I mean, you guys saw the Neva Mermex Queen. That's like, that's insane. So getting that was just made this trip all the, you know, totally worth it. And then on top of that, I also got a Tracky Mermex Arizonensis Queen, which is really cool. Those are one of the fungus growers that we've got here in Arizona. And uh, so just super awesome stuff. Uh, I told you guys that I love coming here and you know, with how bad black lighting was, well, with how mediocre black lighting was last night, I was uh, a little worried that, you know, this trip was gonna end up being a bust, but it, it wasn't. I, I had a great time, so and I'm glad that I was able to take you guys with me. So I'll see you guys, hopefully next time I do this, I'm, I would really love to do something like this again. Uh, but either way, I'll still be putting out my normal videos showcasing my colonies, and you'll definitely be seeing more of that David Mermack colony that I caught today. Um, so yeah. I'll see you guys in, in those videos.